happening. I'm here to meet, connect with this ecosystem. It's a fabulous event. There's a lot to learn, a lot to connect with. Very exciting week. We need to accelerate and break down the barriers of how we do things. Well, it's very good to hear from Emily Milder that they want questions asked. I think that's a really key part of any partnership and relationship. Both sides are open to sharing that information so that we can get the best out of all the partnerships. Deputy Prime Minister, I'm so pleased you could join us to launch the new Defence IST strategy. IST is part of a capability ecosystem in itself, and then the second part um, is to create defence's uh, innovation and science and technology ecosystem. The quality of the companies and participants and universities that are here is very, very impressive. Met a lot of really interesting people. I'm leaving with a lot of very cool ideas of new things we could be going after. We need to use the best minds by bringing defence and universities together because that way we're going to have the ability to come up with fresh thinking, fresh ways of doing things so that we have this asymmetric advantage. What's excited me is looking at how technology can assist the human rather than humans fitting in and assisting technology. Universities really have to engage with defence. There is a strategic need now to be much more engaged all the way through from research through to manufacture here in Australia. So AUKUS has really kind of lit a fire on iPhone 1 to actually do bilat and trilat technology production. Uh, leaders like Heidi Shu and Tanya Monroe has also been a huge proponent of Australia and US collaboration. So I'm just very excited to see leaders like that opening the doors to the rest of us. What's most excited is the collaboration with our five eyes, um, the fact that we're sharing the technologies, uh, the fact that we're learning from their research and making sure we accelerate our research. For me, some of the highlights have been really the panel discussions that just show the increasing alignment with our international partners. That's a massive highlight because really ultimately asymmetry comes from the fact that many nations share values, share intent and can work together.